Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Code Town Round 8. We're gonna solve the second problem that is busy and mix. Let's see. Now um, we have our uh, farmer from the first problem only. His name is uh, John and he have a permutation P1, P2 up till Pn. So let us assume the permutation to be something like 2, 0, 1. So if the n value is 3, the permutation can be like 0, 1, 2 or 1, 0, 2 or anything. It should be from 0 to n minus 1. What happens is this John is giving an array A of length n and challenges her to construct P based on A. So let's assume that this is Bessie. This John gives an array A, uh, let's suppose A1, A2, A3. In this case, uh, let us assume that it can be something like 2 minus 1, oh, sorry, it is uh, minus 2. 1 and 2. This is an example that is already given in the question. Minus 2, 1, 2. Now, this 2, 0, 1, Bessie can't see. Okay. The array A is constructed so that A i is equal to max of P1, P2 up till P i minus P i. So, max of this minus 2 will give you this. Now, A2 is max of 2, 0 minus 0 a3 is max of 201 minus 1 that is how you got now you can ask what is the meaning of max max means uh, in an array of integers it is the minimum non-negative integer that does not appear suppose max of 1 2 3 is 0 because 0 is the first non-negative integer that is not appearing 3 1 0 here what is the minimum integer that is not appearing 0 is here 1 is here 2 is missing right so 2 so I hope you got the understanding of the question. Let's try to just construct an example and see the problem. So the thing is, in our input, they will give this one a1, a2, a3. We have to form p1, p2, p3 such that um, I should be able to satisfy these conditions. Let's see this. So now uh, a1, a is what? Minus 2, 1, 2. This is the third example, I think, this one. So minus 2, 1, 2 and p currently we don't know p okay so p is uh, what is this 201 this should be the answer that we need to produce that is 20 and 1 now they asked the max max is what max here is 0 right 0 minus 2 is my mi uh, minus 2 we got this now in the array it is two zeros max is what minimum is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 okay now 201 201's max is what 0 1 2 3 is the max 3 minus 1 is 2 that's how we are getting it so we got the a uh, we got uh, from the solution we saw that this is the answer so this is how the things are working so we need to figure out so for the same this is also there let's try to uh, find the solution from this now uh, we have the array a how do we go ahead and find the solution if you observe properly they told that the answer always exists and if there are multiple answers, you can print any one of them. Here, uh, for the first first character, what are all the possible mixes that can come? If you are able to get it, you are halfway into the answer. Just think about it. What is the possible mixes that can come for the first element? I cannot have a mix like two, right? I cannot have a mix like three, right? Zero and one should be in the array, then only I can get two. 0, 1, 2 should be in the array, then only I can get 3. So, if I keep the permutation value as 0, the mix should be 1. If I keep the permutation value as 2, 3, 1, 4, anything else, the mix should be 0. So, there are only two possible combinations or two possible chances for me to keep uh, the mix value. Now, let us assume that I am keeping 1 as the mix. If I keep 1 as the max, I need to subtract it, right? So, how does it work now? It is max of uh, some piece minus pi equal to uh, ai, right? I will rearrange this. So, how it will be max of p uh, something minus, I am bringing this here and bringing this here, minus ai equal to pi, okay? So, this is what I am solving the equation. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, the condition is satisfied. But here, let's try for 0 also. If it is 0, 0, minus 1, minus, minus, everything is negative, right? 0, 0, minus 1 is negative. 
negative number can't be in permutation since they told that always the number lies in 0 to n minus 1. So this 0 we can ignore. We are ignoring it. Now what happened? I kept 1 here and I kept 0 here. We came to know that there are only two possible chances. I tried for 0. Everything is negative, not possible. For 1, it is working. So out of the two things, 0 and 1 are the possible mixes that are there. Okay. Now let us try for the next number. Now the next number cannot have a mix as 0, right? 0 can never come because 0 is already part of the permutation. So 1 is here and what is the other mix that it can come? It can have a mix like 2, right? Now let us understand two things can come. When can we say that mix of 1 can come? Mix of 1 can come when the numbers are 2, 3, 4 in the P space. 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4 or anything comes 1 can come. When can we say that the mix 2 can come? Mix 2 can come only for if the number is 1. If I keep the permutation as 1 only, mix of 2 can come. Now, for let's assume that for the first minimum, if I keep 1, I have to solve the equation, right? So, if I keep, if I assume that m is 1, it will be 1 minus a of i. 1 minus 1 is 0. But boss, 0 is already part of array. I have only 0 to n minus 1 unique elements. So it should not be negative. We will just try to write out first what it should not be negative. And if it's already part of p, already part of p, then uh, not possible. That mix value we should not consider. So 1, if I take 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. It's 0 is already part of p. No, I'm not considering it. So it is 0. Now, definitely to, they told that answer always exists. So I'll keep 2 here. 2 minus 1 is what? It is 1. Done, right? Now, since 1 is already part of p, now I need to remove the mix value as p, right? 1 can never be mix moving further. So what is the next possible mix value? I can have 2 or I can have 3. Let us try to understand. Let us assume that we'll keep the mix value as 2. If we want mix value as 2, the values can be 0, 1, 3 or 0, 1, 4 or 0, 1, 5 and so on till n minus 1 only. Now, if I assume it's 2, mix value as 2 means as per our equation, it is 2 minus minus of 2. It is 4. So I can keep 4 here. Solution is already satisfied. Now, very careful here. In future, I should not take max value as 4. Okay, because I should not take max value of 0, 1, 4 should never come in future because they are already part of the array, right? Now, what happens? You carry the same thing here, 2, 3, right? Uh, in order to get 2 as the max value, you can keep 5 or you can keep a 3 or anything you can do in order to get 3 as the max value you are forced to keep 2 here right now let's try for 2 only i am assuming 2 is the max value what is the possible n i can keep i cannot keep anything right 2 minus 1 is what okay let's assume that 2 as per equation 2 minus 1 is 1 but boss as per our thing already part of p is not possible 1 is already here so 2 cannot be possible 2 is not possible so what do i do i will take 3 3 minus 1 is how much it is 2 now the max value cannot be 2 also now what do what do i do now 3 is uh, here i move it over here 0 1 4 2 are not the possible max value so for placeholder i'll just keep 5 here now uh, <clears throat> if i can keep if i want 3 as my max value I can keep 5 here, right? Uh, is it possible for me to keep 5? It is not possible because 0 to n minus 1. So if I keep 3 here, what is this? 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1 means 1 is already part. So 3 can never be part of this value, right? Now only possible thing I left is 5. 5 minus 2 is what? 3. Now we got the answer. For 1, 1, minus 2, 1, 2, we got 0, 1, 4, 2, 3. So 0, 1, 4, 2, 3 for 1, 1, minus 2, 1, 2. And that's how we are able to solve it. So what did we find out? The first clicking point is, you know, the first number will only have two possible mixes. We try to find out the solution from it. And then we go for the next one. What are the possible mixes that is possible? 
then we uh, resolve it from the answer only if you are getting a number that is negative it cannot be part of the permutation from 0 to n minus 1 and in permutation all the numbers are distinct if the number is occurring same then that mixed value is eliminated for that particular situation let's understand this with the help of a code uh, so that it will be more clear uh, so let's uh, take this one okay what did i say i assume that two things can come so I have minimum max equal to 0 and maximum max possible is 1. So I have it here that is i equal to 0 to i less than n i plus plus a. The result is nothing but the p only. Okay. What did I say first? Uh, first, I am telling that you know minimum max is 0 minus minus 2. So 0 minus minus 2, it is 2, right? 2 is greater than 0 and 2 is present not present so it goes to minimum x minus v of i minimum x minus v of i is how much it is 2 so i am assigning it here now i check that result of i 2 equal to equal to 0 no not uh, then 2 equal to equal to maximum x no so i have the maxes value with me as 0 and 1 only next thing that i'll go is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 as i told earlier in the result array it should be only 0 1 2 it cannot be negative value so since it cannot uh, it cannot be a negative value i go for this condition if it is less than zero you go for max max minus v of i that is one minus one that is zero okay now result of i equal to equal to max max if uh, if it is equal to equal to min max here if it is equal to equal to min max what happens the existing one becomes the minimum max and the maximum max will be two since 2 is already done here, sc dot count, it is already inserted as part of it. 2 will be converted to 3. Minimum x is 1, maximum x is 3. Now, let us go for the next condition. That is 1 minus 2. Minus 1, it is not possible. 1, uh, it is also negative. Minus 1 uh, does not exist, but it is negative. So, it goes for max max minus v of i. That is 3 minus 2, it is 1. And that's how you get the number as 201. So, as you see here, minus 212 and 201. So, I hope it will be clear. So, this is the solution that we wrote. So, if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.